In this video, we are going to be unlocking one of the brand new items in Update 5 on King Legacy. And that is going to be the Acro Spear, which is actually one of the more difficult items to get in the game. Most items are just based off of fighting a singular boss until you like get a certain drop chance, which is actually like all of the weapons in the game, actually. But this one and another one in this update are entirely different. There are a bunch of requirements or materials you need to get beforehand which I will be explaining in this video. So if you haven't already and you do enjoy this video, please drop a quick like and subscribe. It is free and it does help out the channel. But let's go ahead and get started because I've spent quite a while grinding for this and we finally got it. All right, so to get the Acro Spear, there is a small list of requirements, but everything on this list is kind of difficult to do. Now, the basic requirement is that you want to be max level. I don't think you need to be max level, but you have to at least have C3. So level 4,000 at minimum. And you also need an Acro Scythe, which you can get from Sea Kings. They're a below 1% chance up to a 5% chance drop, depending on the tier of chest you get. So it's decently rare, or you can just buy it. On average, I see them being sold for five to six Sea Kings per no i will not sell mine i like mine just for the record but you are going to want the acro scythe and once you get the acro scythe if you go to c3 and you head behind the castle just follow where i go all the way down here there's going to be a wall here just go ahead and break it with any destructible ability just like anything you can break trees with essentially and you want to talk to this npc right here i did find this one in my exploring c3 video near the end but if you have the acrocythe equipped you can actually talk to this npc i learned that a while after and there's two different items you can make here first of all you can make the acro spear which is going to require nine eyes of acro and also a hydra tail so you have to go get a hydra tail you can also trade for one if you can't get the drop you can trade it for them for about three seeking fins this is fair value that's normally how i get mine that's how i got mine right here but to get the eyes of acro i mean talk to you again um i can go ahead and craft it with the exact same npc and how you make them is you need a 10 seeking blood 50 sea artifacts and six aqua gems now um seeking blood is pretty easy just kill sea beasts or hydras in c2 or just trade for them that's what i did because i used up all mine recently so i traded for 90 they're not they're not too expensive i overpaid for all mine just to get it done because i didn't want to sit there and find any Buddy wanting a fair value for theirs then you're gonna need sea artifacts and aqua gems to make both of these or to get the sea artifacts let me go ahead and teleport home and there is going to be an npc over on top of this wall right here next to fugitive and this npc if you go and talk to him this is where you can make aqua gems for each aqua gem you're gonna need 10 coral 10 shark fins 50 sea artifacts and three pearls per craft now in total you need 54 of these aqua gems that's going to be 540 coral and shark fins 2700 sea artifacts and 162 pearls they're going to want to get more sea artifacts than that because you also need 50 per eye craft on top of that so it takes a lot of aqua gems to actually make this full item now to get all these drops you can go ahead and get uh sea artifacts these items right here from deep divers are not too difficult to kill you, you can kill them one cycle of attacks if you do it right and have the right accessories i do like rumble for this a lot and you can also get them from deep one villagers those are the two npcs that drop it to get shark fins you can get them from the deep one which is actually incredibly easy to kill just to show it i'm using upgraded dofi glasses oh shoot these guys are trying to kill me now <laughs> let me get rid of these guys there we go they're so tanky in this world but just to show it this thing is so weak i'll even i'll even go ahead and just not use this one let's use i'm just gonna use crimson scarf which is only a 15 percent increase most hats are on that range i can just go ahead and do these set of attacks with rumble with an auto and he dies so you can afk that one pretty easily you can also farm them from fishman guardians but i don't really like farming groups of enemies there are a lot of them though mainly because they fight back a lot easier i like it when they don't fight back but they will also drop shark fins and i think the fishman king's guard also drops it i didn't farm him for it at all i mean we can just see if we get lucky yeah yeah no, he does cool so yeah this boss the deep one and the fishman guardians all drop fins now for the more annoying items you have coral and pearls the only way it was actually able, able to afk these because i afk them because i it was took so long manually was to have two maxed out accounts because i do have the maxed out one from the dragon video i put rumble fruit on that account because it's be overall it's just better and i farmed this guy he will drop you pearls 
and coral but he's incredibly tanky if i just go ahead and show if i just do like one combo from this it barely even did half of his health so you're gonna need like two people to either afk it or you're gonna want more than one person to grind it because it will make it a lot easier i found the good range is like three to four players to make it really easy so if you have a group of players to play with he isn't too difficult but it will still take a while this is a very time intensive weapon to get it's just on pure grind you can't really afk that one you know unless you have two accounts and once you do that you can finally go ahead and make yourself the aqua gems or you can just trade for them but i think right as of right now they're really overpriced because of how difficult they are to grind especially in mass so let's go ahead and actually make these And there we go that is 54 that should be right let me find it yeah there you go 54 aqua gems and because i was afk and i over grinded it let's see i think i can make five more because of the coral so we have 59 in total it's a little overkill uh, but that's perfectly fine so let's head back over to that shop now behind the castle and once we head inside we can go ahead and talk to you again and your super not lengthy dialogue and now we can actually go ahead and make the acro eyes or eyes of acro and we only need nine hopefully i did this right so one two three four five six seven eight nine there we go just enough the five extra aqua gems were nice so now we should have nine legendary eye of acro my lord <laughs> i feel like i'm playing an mmo right now now let me go ahead and talk to you again back to acro spear and now we can go ahead and make this for one hider tail and a nine eyes let's 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 just go ahead and do it there we go actor spear is now in your inventory i go ahead and find it It should be a legendary yeah there we go look at that weapon oh that's cool it has all the eyes that the scythe has that's kind of cool i like how i'm holding it too okay let's go ahead and go outside and use the abilities let's see we have acro strike hold z there's a really cool little blood effect if i go ahead and let go of it oh because there's a dash forward that slams a big spear into the ground that's kind of cool let me see that from zoomed out where i can actually see it happening that is pretty cool and then we have acro vengeful let's see hold x does the same little effect this is probably gonna throw the spear yep summoned three bigger ones and just slam them the ground that's kind of cool okay let's test the damage how does this work when like fighting like one npc oh look at that does that do after damage it does so like about fifteen thousand damage total with that after hit and it does appear to keep the enemy still like like look it has a little gravity effect it's pulling the npc in because you can see it move back and forth and it does heal the acro weapons do heal and then we have vengeful not too bad eight thousand damage that's also without hockey i realize we do from farther back not kill at this time not too bad Nine thousand damage total there I, I bet if you get it between two spears it would do more but that seems like it's more better for hitting more than one enemy at a time the damage isn't too bad though and the healing's not bad either just has that one one more time 11.8 and then another 4.5 that isn't that isn't too bad you can also use both abilities at the same time too because they're instant honestly not too bad of a weapon i am curious though i do have all the weapons in the game upgraded you know except for the two what is the upgrade for the weapon okay wow that's actually get quite expensive five sea king fins 25 iron ingots and i need 12 more sea king blood i could probably trade for that actually 12 isn't that hard to get i think it's like 50 for one fin so i can just like overpay a little bit of gunpowder but yeah in the grand scheme of things when it comes to legendaries it's not that expensive okay here we go i found a trade for it flame fruit for 15 sea king blood probably an overpay but i also just don't care <laughs> I just I just want to get what I need <laughs> so but with that I can go ahead and go back to the blacksmith and I can actually upgrade the accurate spear so there we go that was five seeking feds my lord expensive expensive game not too bad so now it's doing eight percent more damage which, which really isn't that much of an increase because like fifteen thousand it was doing with one of the abilities so now it's doing an extra 1.2k technically and so it's an increase but it might be enough to make the difference between a kill or not but there we go we got the new accro spear there is one more weapon which is the saber but I I'm definitely not doing that in this video that's gonna take me a while though for me because I don't entirely 100% know of his requirements but I think part of the requirements is you're gonna need max armament which I will explain in the uh, video you might not but you might need it I don't know worth getting nonetheless I think you need 2 million bounty so as you can see I have been working on that we're almost I'm right under 250k 
And I do think you also need more of these um, aqua gems. Luckily, I already have enough now because of the extras I had. But I think the main part is you need 2 million bounties. So that's going to take me a bit to get, but I, I will get it as soon as possible. These aggro spears are kind of cool. I don't think I'm going to use it, though. I'm not too big of a fan of the abilities and how they might work. I, I'm, I'm a bigger fan of like Hellblade, a ATK, even though people don't like the revamp. I don't think it's that bad. And I have been using the Anubis Axe for AFKing like for end of combo for a bit more damage but it's still nice to have i got it now i'm very curious to see what the next acro open is gonna be we have a scythe and a spear i'm calling it now acro like gun kind of like the phoenix blade or acro like bow or something that might actually be kind of cool